bad news. Good morning, Florida! <laughs> That's right guys, we're in a new location in Mexico, it's called Merida, and we're starting off our morning very early because we're going on a bike ride! I'm so excited because it's been some time since we've been cycling. It has been, indeed. I'm looking forward to it, but before we leave, I'm going to show you around this little uh, Airbnb that we got for $13. Now, it's not much, but it's comfortable mm -hmm. and I just want to show you guys what it's like when we're staying in, in different places. So check this out. So we never really told you what happens here in Merida. Every Sunday, the government shuts down one of the main streets here so people can cycle, run, walk, and relax. Yes, the name of the main road is Pasillo Montijo, and they do this from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. every Sunday. And I'm super excited because I'm going to be running around here and I don't have to worry about traffic. <laughs> exactly. There's so many statues, monuments, beautiful colonial buildings here to admire as you walk. Today, we'll be biking it. All right guys, bad news. <laughs> so today is dedicated strictly to the marathon. We didn't know yeah. there was a marathon going on, so we came out to rent bikes and ride with everyone else. Um, but unfortunately, that's not gonna happen. It was a little disappointing at first that we weren't going to be able to cycle, but I actually had a great time. It was, at the it marathon. was fun. It was fun. It's so loud back there. Oh my gosh. So many people cheering, clapping. Yeah, it was so exciting to see them freaking finish, right? Cross exactly. the finish line. Now, how rewarding is that? 42 kilometers. Can you imagine? That's crazy. That's what I did. You see me at the end, guys? I was <laughs> celebrating. <laughs> Anyway, so now we just found out that there's possibly a bike shop that's still open where we can get two bikes just to, um, you know, cover more ground. So keep your fingers crossed. That's what we're heading to. All right, guys, the bike shop is open and we're kind of confused because it's actually someone's house. So check this out. Oh my gosh, Arlene is so bikes. excited. He's been bugging me all morning because he wants to go biking. I feel a little rusty. I always have to force her to do stuff and persuade her. She gets all cranky, behaves like a big baby, throwing oh, tantrums. And guess what? Now look at her. You having fun? Yay! <laughs> much fun. Hey, I know you. My partner in crime. I have such a big smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> has been a long morning it's time for breakfast as well and enjoy the rest of the day
And now we find ourselves at Plaza Grande of Merida. This is where most people come to shop, dine, relax, and if you're anything like us, people watch. Yes, it's such a beautiful park. It's surrounded by gorgeous colonial buildings. And here you can find the biggest cathedral church in Merida. One of the things I like about this park is the manicured trees. Some are shaped circular and some are square. And guess what guys? They also have my favorite kissing chairs. <laughs> exactly. So you know what guys? We're just gonna walk around now and explore this little plaza. All right guys, we had the opportunity to go into the church behind us. It is absolutely beautiful. Not only on the outside, but on the inside. There are these huge pillars. I mean, they're so wide and tall. They support the ceiling that's about 100 to 200 feet high. Also on the floor, there are these engraved marble stones on the beautiful. Yeah, that was actually stunning. We didn't realize that until we were actually sitting down. It's such a big church. I didn't realize until after the fact that it's actually the biggest church here in Merida and the second biggest in Mexico. Yeah, you but know, um, it's absolutely stunning. It is, it is. Before this church was here, this was a Mayan temple and the Spaniels came and they actually knocked down the temple mm -hmm. and used the building blocks to build this church. It's and beautiful, it's simple, the colors are stunning. It changes yeah. from brown to orangey to white. Two beautiful towers. You know, on the side of it also, there's this what they call the Passage of the Revolution. And it has these eight giant guys just standing here with their arms outstretched. And it's beautiful. So we're gonna take a walk through it and continue exploring the park. Yeah, we just came across this. It seems like it's an art gallery because when you come into this building, all the walls are painted with like hummingbirds and flowers. Yeah, it's okay. And it's flanked with these stores that display artwork. But these benches are the coolest things in here. So if you're looking for it, it's called Pasaje Pichetna. Yep, and we saw something about the cenote behind us. We're gonna go check that out right now. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna bring my swimsuit. <laughs> Plaza Grande. There is so much to do here. We've been here for about an hour or so and we needed a break. Yeah. So much walking. There's a cathedral, there's several museums, restaurants, cafes, shopping. And if you don't want to walk around the plaza to shop, you can actually come into the park and they have all these cute little vendors with yeah. antique things and fruits and snacks and more snacks. <laughs> yeah, you know what guys? So Merida is said to be one of the safest cities in Mexico, if not the safest city in Mexico. And the second safest city in the Americas. Now how cool is that? Yes, yeah, so that a lot of expats are actually moving into Merida. Well guys, no, we're not moving to Merida. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. No, we're, we're just not. visiting. It is beautiful here. We do love it. It reminds us of Valle de Lid. The small buildings, it's colorful. I mean, yeah. people are so nice and lovely and Very friendly. Very friendly people. Uh, and the food is delicious. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and another thing with this park is that there's free Wi-Fi zones all around this yes. park and charging stations. That Amazing. I love. <laughs> I had no idea. It's big enough. It doesn't, there's quite a few people here, but it doesn't feel crowded, crowded by any means. Because the park is so big. Yeah, I really like it. It's actually one of the biggest plazas I've ever been to. I agree. 
Yeah. And the smallest plaza that I've ever been to was in Aguas Calientes in Peru. That's right. That yeah. was a tiniest tiny, plaza. Tiniest church and tiniest <laughs> plaza. So we're just going to continue walking around and keep enjoying because there's just so much more to see. We might even take a walk up one of the side streets because every time I look up a side street, the buildings are just colorful. Find ourselves at this market. What is it called? It's called Lucas del Gabriel's, and I'm pretty sure you don't want to miss this. <laughs> yeah, it's a giant maze of everything. Yes, from shoes to clothing to purses to food, restaurants, Coloring books, medicine, <laughs> toys, religious, candles. religious artifacts. It's just veggies, spices. Oh my god! Whatever you could think of right now, just pick a word. <laughs> you could get it here. You definitely could find it here. It's been around since the 1800s and it started off so small, the size of a shed. It actually started off as a shed. As a shed? Oh my into gosh. this crazy place Ginormous with, yeah, <laughs> with everything in it. I love window shopping. Yeah. You've been with us for some time, you guys know that already. But for those of you who don't, it's very rare that I buy anything, but I love looking and touching. So the it's best kind of life, kind of guys. <laughs> That's the best kind of life you can have. Now we're going to explore the central on a horse and carriage. She's been bugging me. It looks so oh, relaxing. Let's try one, let's try one. The best so. way to explore besides walking. You know what, my feet are killing me, so yeah, let's do it. <laughs> it's gonna cost 20 US, which is actually 400 uh, pesos. pesos. Mm -hmm. So it's worth it, I think, for about 45 minutes to an hour. That's a quick stop for gas, guys. That's all that was. Quick stop for gas. Most drivers are going to give you a little history of where you are. So our driver, I forgot what's his name? His name is Pedro. Pedro, is, uh, he speaks English.
today was such an awesome day from the very beginning from the bike ride to sightseeing eating performances and of course to end the night like this was a total bang we saw the church illuminated mm -hmm. with the lights we saw a dance show and we saw the famous mayan game called pok da pok that was fun. Yeah, this is a game <laughs> where they have to hit a ball through a hoop about eight feet tall using their hips and buttocks. And then later on, the ball is set afire and they can only use their hands at that point yeah. to get the ball through the hoop. That was quite a That well, Yeah, that was a lot of fun. That was, they were all my favorite. It was all different and enjoyable. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, and let's not forget the carriage ride we had earlier. Oh, yeah! That was so cool! <laughs> There's so much. I yeah. mean, well, what an awesome, awesome day, guys. Thank you for watching, hanging out with us today. Don't forget to share this video with at least one of your friends. And we'll see you next Sunday. Thanks for hanging out. See ya. Bye. Yeah, this is getting uh, posing directions. Hey. Oh, 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 oh